Question number three, use De Moivre theorem to show that five, I mean, cos of five theta is equal to 16, cos to the five theta minus 20, cos to the cube theta plus five cos of theta. And for part B, hence obtain the roots of the equation 32x to the five minus 40x cubed plus 10x minus the root of two is equal to zero in the form of cos q pi, where q is a rational number. Okay, so for the first part now, we need to use de Moivre theorem. But what is de Moivre theorem? Basically, we say that z is equal to cos of theta plus i sine of theta. So if this is power 5, I mean, this is 5 here, so the power is going to become 5. So this is power n, and so power n. So what we have, then I'm going to say cos, I'm going to use c, uh, for cos of theta and then for sine of theta I'm going to use s so c plus i s c plus i s to the power of n to the power of 5 basically right so if I were to do this I can use I can use the binomial uh, expansion so I got c to the 5 okay plus um, I would say then 5 c2 okay um, okay so 5 c1 rather 5c1, okay, then c to the 4, i, s, okay, plus 5c2, c to the 5 minus 2 is 3, i, s to the square, plus 5c3, and uh, that's going to become then uh, c to the um, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then i, s to the cube, okay, uh, plus again now uh, 5c4 okay so this is c to the 5 minus 4 is 1 so i s to the power of 4 plus basically now i s to the power of 5 so let's try and continue this expansion here we've got uh, 5c1 is basically 5 all right i'm going to take all the real parts okay let's take the real part when i talk about the real part i mean this is the real part here, and I've got the real one here. Because there's i, i, s here, i is, is the imaginary part. Here, i to the square, we know that i square is negative 1. So this disappears, so that's the real part. And then real, this is imaginary, and so this is real. So I'm going to put a tick for real, and this one, but we won't take this one, basically, because that's the imaginary part here. So what am I saying is that uh, then um, this is uh, cos uh, to the 5 theta, okay, plus um, 5, 5 C2 is basically 10, right, if you were to check this in the calculator. So 10 uh, cos cube theta i to the square is negative 1 times uh, s square, which is 1 minus uh, cos to the square theta, because sine square theta is 1 minus cos square theta, and all of that, so that, that should be fine. And, uh, well, then the other real part is 5c4, which is basically 5. So 5 into, then, uh, I, is, uh, I, I power 4 is basically 1, so because 1 times s to the power of 4, so 5 times cos of theta, and the s is sine of theta to the power of 4, so sine square theta to the power of 2, because 2 times just 4 and 4 here. So what I have is cos to the 5 theta, all right, then um, plus, so this becomes minus 10 cos cube times 1 is minus 10 cos to the cube theta minus, I mean, plus 10 times this is going to be minus, uh, minus 10, so minus times minus, this is basically the minus here, so minus times minus is plus, so minus 10 cos cube, and minus times minus is plus, so plus, then 10 cos to the 5 theta, all right, plus 10 cos to the 5 theta, and uh, plus the 5 cos of theta into 1 minus cos square theta. Remember this, we can use the trig identity to the square. So cos to the 5 theta minus 10 cos cube theta 
plus 10 cos to the 5 theta plus um, 5 cos of theta okay then what I should do basically I should expand this 1 minus 2 cos to the square theta plus cos to the 4 theta so we have then cos to the 5 theta minus 10 cos cube theta plus 10 cos to the 5 theta plus 5 cos of theta minus 10 cos to the cube theta okay cos squared times this and okay now we got plus 5 um, 5 cos to the 5 theta so cos to the 5 theta plus 10 cos to 5 theta plus 5 cos to 5 theta is 16 cos to the 5 theta minus uh, 10 cos cube theta minus 10 cos cube theta is minus 20 cos cube of theta and I've got my plus 5 cos of theta plus 5 cos of theta this is exactly the same as this therefore that has been shown so here we are we can say that um, cos 5 theta is equal to all of that okay now for the second part b we need to find solutions or roots of this equation and he says hence so we're going to have to use the first part of the question so what i have is this equation here so if i put two outside and i say 16 x to the 5 minus 20 x to the cube plus 5 x and then minus the root of 2 and this is similar to 16 cos to the 5 theta minus 20 okay cos to the cube theta plus 5 cos of theta and then minus the root of 2 is equal to 0 cos of theta is equal to x so we can say that uh, x is equal to cos of theta that's solutions but then again all of that over here is the same as cos of 5 theta and that minus the root of 2 should give you 0 so if we simplify this cos 5 theta is got to root of 2 divided by 2 meaning that I've got 5 of a theta is equal to uh, cos inverse of a root of 2 over 2 which is then pi over 4 of course plus the any any number of solutions of so 2k pi uh, from the unit circle right so now what we do is um, the value of k um, here can take the values that, that k can take is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because the maximum power is 5 so we stop up to 4 and so the first solution I'm going to say theta is equal to um, then pi over 4 divided by 5 is pi over 20 so pi over 20 plus 2 fifths of k pi now when k is equal to 0 we're going to put 0 here I've got theta as um, pi over 20 which is 1 over 20 pi therefore my first solution is x is equal to cos of 1 over 20 pi this is a rational number now when k is equal to 2 I've got theta is equal to if I were to put 2 here so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 over 5 plus 1 over 20. So 4 over 5, okay, plus 1 over 20. And that's going to lead to 17 over 20. Right, but then again, um, this is 2. I, I, I'm supposed to put 1 first, isn't it? So this is 2. So 1 here. So when k is equal to 1, I've got then theta is equal to 1, it is 2 over 5 plus 1 over 20. All right, so 2 over 5 plus 1 over 20 is 9 over 20. So I've got then 9 over 20 pi. So the second solution is going to be cos of 9 over 20 pi, where again, this is a rational number. And then the third one we did find, this is x1, x2 now, x3, and this is cos of uh, what we just found in the calculator was 17 over 20 pi so i got 17 over 20 pi now because this is periodic it's a periodic um, function so we can see uh, the period is 
now 2 over 5 so we got now 9 over 20 so basically 9 over 20 to go to 17 so 1 plus 8 is 9 9 plus 8 is 17 17 plus 8 is 25 so next solution is going to be x4 is got to cos of um, 25 over 25 and uh, then this is 1 2 3 4 the fifth solution x to the 5 I mean x5 is going to be equal to uh, you add 8, 8 to 25 you should be able to get 33 so cos of 33 over 20 pi so here we are this is the solution to the second part of the question take care bye